Sagittarius, this is Soul and Sagittarius, uh, what's coming towards you, January 29th, uh, 2024. This is what we're going to look at, see what's potentially coming towards uh, Sagittarius uh, the week ahead, okay? So I'm using the Astro Scion deck to deliver your messages, cleansing the energies from Dawn Scorpio's reading here. There are some reversals here, and... Uh, Give it a good shuffle and we'll begin your messages here. And by the way, uh, Sagittarius, I will be opening up memberships on my channel if anyone is interested in joining. So, you know, membership has its perks. Uh, I'll be doing extended um, love readings, weekly readings, uh, uh, monthly giveaways, um, anything um, that I can think of right now. It's just relatively new to me, but I figured I needed to start somewhere. So just, if you're interested, there's three levels, three tiers that you make. The hell? Something always falls when I'm doing these damn readings. Um, so there's three levels that you may be interested in. And with that being said, let's get underway here. What is potentially coming towards Sagittarius this week? The week of the 29th, January. Energies for Sagittarius. Uh, one more time. All right, here we go, Sagittarius. This is for you. We got the King of Pentacles. So money could be coming towards you. Promotions, right? Wow. Starting business. You could be running a business. If you are, then money and resources become available. This is your boss. Of course, in a workplace environment, could be creditors. Creditors. You could be applying for credit. All is favorable. Um, the attributes of this card here simply means that there's somebody... It could be your own energies that, you know, someone sees you as being very reliable, dependable, stable. Somebody who, you know, is good at working with money. Um, always willing to uh, lend or assist. Um, doesn't necessarily always have to be financial. These people are usually nurturers, caretakers. Um, very supportive. Like the finer things in life, okay, but never coming across as selfish or stingy. Next up is the Five of Wands. Five of Wands could be the projection of energy coming onto you by others. So be careful not to get yourself or engage yourself into any petty fights or arguments with anyone. Now it follows the King of Pentacles. So this could be co-workers. This could be bosses. It's not your energy. It's their energy. So if you don't engage, then you should be okay. Don't add fuel to the fire. If not, then it could be that you just experienced a little bit of restlessness this week and that too shall pass. Next up is the strength card. Any obstacles or challenges that you may be faced with, you'll overcome them. This is a card that represents strong power, courageousness, dynamism, sexual energy, sexual expression, things becoming really, really intense in a good way. Okay, so you got the strength card here to help you out. Following the strength card here, now we have the Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands is the aspect of some good news possibly coming to uh, Sagittarius, some Sagittarians this week here, okay, coming in very, very fast. It's always a touch of surprise. Also, you're the initiator of something because this card always represent, represents you starting something. So take an initiative to start something, begin something. It could be a creative um, pursuit, could be a hobby, whatever, okay? Next, we have the fallout. Wow, okay, I wasn't expecting that. But this is the tower here in this instance, um... Sagittarius. Now, I always tell you guys not to freak out so much about the tower when it shows up because it could just represent us, um, you know, receiving some sort of shocking and devastating news that is global and worldly. OK, so we still have the wars going on. This is always representative of earthquakes or bad, you know, bad weather, depending on what area you live in. Um, it mirrors over here to the King of Pentacles. And I always see when the pentacles are in force and the tower shows up here, depending on where they lay, it doesn't really, you know, matter where they lay. If the cards are in the spread in itself, I always feel that there is either going to be something going on with the workforce, either someone, either a company that is majorly known has some sort of fallout. There could, could be, you know, um, uh, re not retiring. It could be that they are closing up. 
they're laying off something. Well, when it comes to the layoff, it could be massive, but it could also be the closures that were that could be permanent. So this is just you um, possibly receiving that information. OK, hopefully. And then also, too, um, because it uh, mirrors over here to the King of Pentacles, even though this is positive, you don't want to get yourself involved in any quarrels or arguments with uh, bosses, co-workers, um, because it could turn out to be very, very nasty. So we do have the tower here up next here. And then also to the strength card is going to take down the energy of the tower. So thank God we had the strength card here. Remember, overcoming obstacles and challenges. Then we have the king of wands. This is your energy here. So you're attracting maybe a, a promotion, a new job, a business, um, very strong type of attraction. This is a card that represents the big heart here. It could be love. It could be, uh, you know, he's playing a musical instrument. Just simply that, you know, some Sagittarians are Advent music listeners playing musical instruments or could be going to a musical concert. Could be a live show or whatever. All right. So this is sexual energy, sexual expression and whatever the king is focused on, uh, whoever he's focused on or whatever he's focused on, he goes after it. OK, following that, we have the star card. So the star card with the tower. OK. That's not a combination because it's usually the, the tower and the sun that I pick up power outages and um, uh, electrical shortages and stuff. But with this tower here and the star card, do not be too surprised in terms of shocking news and devastation news that you hear about someone very famous to us. Uh, this could be a star. This could be, you know, like a movie star. This could be a mu uh, musician. Someone passes away, unfortunately. I have to say that because this is what I see. Okay. But for you, this is the card that represents. Um, and I remember doing, just quickly, I remember doing a reading a while ago. And I think I had the tower here and somebody's reading. And, and maybe the, I think it was the tower and the moon and maybe the star. But the moon kept coming to me, and I don't know why. And I said to myself, even though I didn't say it in the reading, I said, oh, there's going to be somebody who um, is very you know, famous and world-known that's going to pass away. And so um, I think it was like the next day or the next couple of days, it was the, um, I forgot her name. Joyce was it Joyce that played on the honeymooners that's why the moon was there and I kept saying the moon I said okay something to do with the moon but I couldn't you know figure out what it was and here it was it was I think it was Joyce Randolph correct me if I'm wrong if I'm getting that she was the wife of uh, Ralph Cranden on the honeymooners and I said to myself oh my gosh there it is so that's what I was seeing, but I couldn't really speak it. So with this here, someone famous, it could be a movie star. It could be a musician that we hear about that may pass away this week. OK, the star is always about uh, otherwise hopes, wishes and dreams becoming fulfilled and manifested. Psychic energy, psychic, um, uh, you know, abilities being enhanced, social neck. Yeah, social networking, social media. So it could be a greater expansion of that energy. And you got the king here to help you focus on one or two things, because I always say the stars that are, you know, scattered in the uh, heavens and stuff is like energy. So you don't want to feel like, you know, you're all over the place. So this is uh, meeting someone famous. OK, and whatever, the, whenever the star card is in your spread, whatever you, it is that you're hoping for, wishing for, praying for, you may see it this week. Remember, you got the Ace of Wands as an aspect of some sort of good news that may uh, put a smile on your face with a touch of surprise. Also, too, the star card could represent. Um, what else? OK, I had another thought, but I lost it anyway. So you have the star card, Major Arcana, which will take down the energy of the tower as well as the strength card. Then we have the liberation card. OK, so this is the card of um, feeling liberated. You could be. But this is the card that always represents um, what's hidden in the dark comes to the light. Right. Judgment. So you may discover some things about yourself 
that you didn't know before. You may discover some things about others that you didn't know before. Could be positive, negative, Sagittarius. And also, too, um, you're spiritually watched over, spiritually protected and guided if necessary. This also, too, would take down the energy of the tower. All right. You just don't want to um, use the uh, energy of the liberation in any other way other than positive, because this is the card that represents karma always. So what you give to others is what you're going to give back. So stay positive. Your interactions with yourself and others, you shouldn't have any problems. Following the um, judgment card, now we have the Queen of Swords. This is uh, you taking action, making major uh, decisions or moves. Being very determined, this is a card that represents communication. So there is something very serious that you guys are going to do this week. Take action and um, a decision about, okay? Last card I have for you, Sagittarius, is the Queen of Pentacles. Oh my God, it's just like the energy of the king. It cross mirrors over here to the king. So I'm going to save myself some time. It's basically the same energy here. Promotions, pay raises, creditors. Could be somebody coming through um, when it comes to romance, business partnerships that are formed, money looking really good. Now it's underneath the tower. Again, like I said, it cross mirrored over here to the King of Pentacles. So the shocking news may come through uh, layoffs, massive layoffs, uh, you know, stores that are famous stores or something like that or announce that they're having layoffs or they're closing down for good. I just sense that, okay? Like I sense the fact that we might hear about a famous musician or a movie star. This, these people, now it could be male or female, they're well, you know, world-renowned. Everybody knows about them. So um, we'll just have to wait and see how that transpires. But that whole situation with the honeymooners, and I couldn't figure out why the moon was standing out to me along with the tower and the star. And I'm like, oh, it's the honeymooners. That's why. Joyce Randolph, I think her name was. Anyway, um, Knight of Cups is in your shadow. So this is a card that represents love, relationships for those um, Sagittarians who are already together, okay, enjoying emotional happiness, satisfaction, fulfillment, and contentment. This also could be a job offer as well, like the King of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, a job offer may be coming through. This could be the uniting of new relationships, romantic specifically, okay? Following that, now we have the Major Arcana, the Empress. This Empress in the reverse will not have anything to do with taking down the energy of the tower because when it's in the upright, it's all about that beauty, right? Okay, taking care of your inner beauty, your outer beauty. Uh, some of you may just, it's, it's major. Some of you may just, uh, when it comes to pregnancy news, you're not going to be pregnant. When it comes to childbirth, childbirth is still imminent, but it could be a, you know, a change of uh, birth dates or birthing dates. All right. Um, not exercising uh, like you want to. Not eating properly like you want to, okay? Remember, it's all positive in the upright position, all right? When it's in the reverse, it's the opposite of those things um, that are positive. Last card I have for you is the Eight of Cups, and this simply is a positive card that I read, uh, Sagittarius. And this is you walking away from, uh, moving away from some sort of emotional stuff that you may have dealt with in your recent past, now you're moving forward in a positive direction, okay? So you already put the, and usually the emotions come from other people, not necessarily that you were dealing with a whole bout of emotional disappointments or upset. It's usually other people, family members, friends, romantic partners who, you know, could be, um, could have dumped on you or tried to dump on you. And um, um, once you dealt with someone else, you know, one person's problem, another person's problems come. And it's like, oh, you're the dumping, you know, the floor mat or the doormat or whatever they say uh, when it comes to solving everybody's issues or emotional problems. You're stronger than that. Now you want to continue to be stronger and move away from that energy. And that's why your back is to the cups. All right. So this is the, um, Energy that could potentially come towards you, Sagittarius, in the week ahead. Remember, it's just me um, interpreting the cards. Please take what's going to work for you. Leave the rest alone. Give this video a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. Share it if you can. Remember, I'm opening up um, 
membership here so you know hit that join button if you can and i'm also considering trying to figure out when's the best time because my work schedule has been so hectic uh but i want to do you know go back and doing lives um so i miss doing that and miss interacting with uh you know my fans and whatnot anyway so have a great week always um be safe, emphasizing that safety, especially when the tower shows up here for you. But in any instance, just remember to keep smiling for me and I will talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.